I'm Rebecca Burns and you're watching Information Overdrive, industry information when you need it. It is NAB 2013 and we're in the Panasonic booth to see what they have new to show us. AVC Ultra is our family of H.264 uh, AVC professional Kodaks. And it actually includes AVC Intra, which we've uh, been shipping at Panasonic now since 2007. And these Kodaks represent extremely high quality video. For example, AVC Intra 100 represents full resolution, 422 color sampling, 10-bit uh, video. Phenomenal workflows, uh, compatibility with all the leading nonlinear editing systems, your Final Cut Pros, your Adobe's, your Quantel's, your Avid's, everybody. And that also includes AVC Intro 50, which has also been shipping now for about seven years. Uh, last year at uh, NAB 2012, we announced AVC Ultra and the full family of Kodaks that encompasses 50 and 100, but also goes up to AVC Ultra Class 200 and even up to uh, full 4K. So that's on the high end. So if you have 4K here and I announced 200 and of course 50 and 100, which we already have, we also introduced something very unique as part of the Ultra family, and that's AVC Long Gop. By introducing the Gop structure, you're able to have more efficiency and you're able to have video at a lower bit rate. But because of the uh, ex expert engineering at Panasonic, we've actually done that where we can have AVC Long G, a 25 megabit Kodak, with full color sampling, full 422 color sampling and 10-bit color bit depth. So incredibly high video quality, but at a file size that's much smaller and close to uh, DV file sizes. And then we took it even a next step down to ABC Long G, a 6 megabit Kodak, and even a 12 megabit. So for people that are looking to shoot long form and reality television or, um, or ENG uh, news shooting, those guys and gals are going to be very interested in the long gop Kodak because of the super high quality and the lower bit rates. Panasonic just announced the AJPX5000 camera. Can you give us an overview? Yes, uh, this is our first AVC Ultra camera. So it has a traditional shoulder mount uh, ENG sized body, but it um, has all of the frame rates and formats that you expect, 1080, 720, HD and SD, 50, 60 hertz switchable, meaning that it's perfect for international use, especially for clients and rental companies that might have uh, productions from different regions. Uh, being AVC Ultra, like, like I had mentioned earlier, it will record uh, up to class 200 AVC Ultra on P2 cards, as well as our currently um, our current AVC Intra 50 and 100, and down to the long G uh, formats as well. Uh, this is also our first two-thirds inch 3MOS camera. Uh, in addition to that, a lot of our uh, customers have asked for more IT type features for workflow. So uh, this camera, like our uh, HBX 600, which is right next to you over there, which came out last year, takes advantage of, of uh, IT type technologies. So you can use your tablet, your smartphone, your computer to dial into the camera and do things like input metadata, uh, look at proxies, and uh, even a new editing application that you could use on your tablet to literally edit on the cards within the camera. This is also our first micro P2 camera, micro P2 and P2 camera. So we have the full size P2 card slots and we have the smaller micro P2 card slots. I have an older card here, but uh, P2 card, uh, super fast, still the fastest uh, solid state memory out there. Um, clearly you can see the size is the size of a PCM CIA slot. The Micro P2, and in this case, I have it in an adapter for our legacy cameras, but is a uh, SD card size, uh, SDXE, you know, fast SD memory, but it has uh, Panasonic logic on it, RAID type system for increased reliability and speed. Actually, two bars of connectors as well. So this is an incredibly fast card. It's much faster than a Class 10 SD card. And so it brings you a lower price point. Hey there, we want to hear from you. So what do you think about ABC Ultra, the tiny little P2 cards, and Panasonic's new camera that they just announced, the AJPX5000? Let us know, write a comment, tweet, or Facebook post. Until next time. So where do you download Information Overdrive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.